In today's video we will leave Kerbin behind and adventure to the glorious moon of Laith and explore all its secrets and surface features using a refueling station that we built prior. So welcome to the mission to Laith. So the first leg of this journey consists out of bringing this SSTO into a stable curve in orbit. This SSTO is also the lander and this SSTO isn't built by me, it's built by Zen of KSP. You can check out how the lander was built on his channel and if you like my videos I'm pretty sure you like his as well. But speaking of the footage, we are almost in orbit, now we are switching to close cycle mode and we're slowly but surely getting ourselves into a stable curve in orbit and docking to the refueling station. Here we have orbit, here we have the refueling station and we can dock to it. And one of those space station modules was built by Space Shuttle, you can check it out on the info card. But after refueling it is time to launch the transfer stage into orbit. Here goes the transfer stage, the final missing module of this mission. After that the whole setup is complete and we can get to late. So here, successful booster separation and after that burning towards orbit and then it was time to meet the lander at the refueling station. Here we are, slowing down relative to it. And then we can undock the lander and dock it towards the transfer stage with the cool name of Poseidon because why not? So here we have docking of the lander and the transfer stage. The whole setup is complete and now it is time to get to Lathe. We are on our way. The kick stage has started up its four engines and we are accelerating away from Kerbin, away from our home, leaving our home to explore new entities, to explore strange worlds we haven't visited yet and after separating away the kick stage we are on our best way towards Joule and here we are leaving Kerbin for a very long time in order to visit new worlds and explore unknown territory and here he is the rock star of our solar system Joule in its full green glory with all its secrets but more importantly here is Laith. And after that gravity assist we only have to do one final maneuver and we can encounter Laith in its full glory with all its islands, clouds and oceans. And then we can decelerate into a stable orbit and after that start the landing. So here we are, we are slowing down we are getting into an orbit around Laith and after circularizing we are successfully captured around Laith. We are in a stable orbit and there's nothing standing in the way of the landing. Here we are in an orbit, let's get to the landing. There's no way back now. We have decoupled the lander and we are deorbiting. We are fully committed towards exploring Laith and all its secrets and we are slowly but surely descending towards its atmosphere, getting closer and closer towards the blue marble in Jules orbit. So we have definitely entered the atmosphere and after scouting out a potential landing spot at this bay, it was time to completely enter the atmosphere and after descending further and further down to Laith, the lander got unstable, it shaked but we could stabilize it using RCS and this lander fought itself through tough how it is through the rough nature of the lathe atmosphere but after some time the shaking stabilized because we're through the top part of the atmosphere deploy the landing legs and now the most challenging part the landing itself we have a very very limited fuel budget we can't spend all of it just burning to get to the right speed we have to touch down at some point but when do we touch down on this uneven ground? You can see rocks everywhere. We have to find a flat enough spot without rocks so our landing legs don't get destroyed because we need the landing gear to get back up. But after throttling up and throttling down for a little while, considering different landing spots and uh, scouting out the environment, the Kerbal has found it 
and commits to a full landing. Parachutes out. We have parachute deployment. Final approach. We have touchdown. We have landed on late. And after letting the craft roll for a little while and braking, we came to a complete stop. And this concludes our record. We have the first Kerbal on lathe. And look at this environment. Isn't that beautiful? Shores, mountains, beaches, everything. All that we have to explore. But first of all, the Kerbal has to set foot on the newfound soil. Climbing down the ladder, slowly but surely. And then touching the ground for the first time ever in Kerbal history. With a beautiful jewel in the background. And then he can take a bunch of steps on the new untouched soil. Before coming to the most important part of this mission, planting a flag of course. Like a mission wouldn't be a mission without planting a flag. Here it is. But you also saw that mountain, right? So I took a little walk. It took me a while, but I took a little walk towards the mountain because I'm Swiss, I want to go to the mountain of course. And secondly, I thought there will be a very cool view from above. So what you can see here is bed up by 10,000%. But I mean, at the end it all paid off. Look at that. Look at, isn't that beautiful? It's my new desktop background picture. Jewel in the background, the sun. We can see valleys, shores, mountains, beaches, everything. All the untouched land of Leith is visible from above here. And I also thought a sunset would be really, really cool. So here you can see a sunset playing in front of your very eyes. And after that, it was time to leave this place behind and, and go home again. Home to Kerbin. So our Kerbal is back into the lander and the sun is rising. It is daytime. Best time to leave this place behind. Engines on and we are slowly but surely easing the brakes and then we can accelerate down this uneven terrain. It almost went wrong but at the end I succeeded. We could lift off. After a gentle right turn we can fly forward and go back into orbit. So say goodbye to all the beaches and shores of Leith because we will never, maybe never see them again, but seriously, we will go to late again, I know myself. Maybe we can go to the North Pole next. So far, so nominal, we are getting back. Now we have finished the turn and we can fly full steam ahead. And if you made it to this point, first of all, you're a legend, and secondly, I opened a Discord server finally, and it would be cool to see a bunch of you there, if a bunch of you could join. There will be a bunch of cool projects in the future that I have planned with the community. So joining early would be good because the first 100 members get a special role. So it would be cool to see you there. We could also just mess around a bit and play games and stuff. Yeah, see you over there. So enough self-advertisement for the day. Because we have docked back to the transfer stage now, we can deorbit the lander because it's not really needed anymore. It's just wait. So we can deorbit the lander here and then after that reorbit the transfer stage and after that get back home to our trusty little home planet that is Kerbin. Here we are, we are going back finally but you know me I have to do a cool cinematic shot and of course we see a jewel rise so we have a second look at jewel before we are going home. Now something I need to clarify here on the way back, there was a bug, you know, I, I just burned my burn I, I had to do and then I returned and when I left the SOI of Joule, the orbit went backwards, like the, the, the orbit changed directions. So we're coming in extremely fast, we're coming in at 21,000 meters a second. This is real time guys, this is real time. We came in that fast. like. In that case, it's actually good re-entry heating is not in the game, because that capsule would have never made it. And we're also coming in over the KC, that's pretty cool. Oh uh, yeah, the Kerbals are also blacking out. It, it was pretty horrible, but we managed to break from 21,000 meters a second to zero. And with that, we can splash down and this video is concluded. Click on the screen for more guys. See you in the next one. Bye.